Hello and welcome to my edition guys This is Minecraft Episode 4 Of my Technic Let's Plays Now since my last episode I have been uh, Making a small Vegetable farm So to say So a little bit of it Also I needed uh, a lot of feathers So I got myself Some chickens and this uh, chicken farm will be extended, don't worry. Hello. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you going? Stop for just a little bit. Darn it. Uh, got another black horse. Over here, black mamba too. Now, I discovered that you can uh, make them sit in one place by using a whip. So, I made one. This red power tree wasn't there before. I had planted uh, a sapling, I think, before I started record recording my first episode. I searched uh, about their growth pattern, and apparently, uh, bone meal doesn't work on them. You just need to let them uh, be for a long time, and it actually grew. So yeah, that's uh, that's neat. Changed a little bit. Uh, the stairs on my house and also using the sandstone uh, pressure plate that only detects the player which is uh, also very neat let me just take this uh, pumpkin down so this episode is going to be all about getting glowstone from the nether and making our start in the equivalent exchange career okay so in order to go to the nether we'll need a few things first of all i want to be able to defend myself so i installed along with the other mods i installed a mod uh, called uh, crossbows which of course introduces crossbows in the game now we have here a wooden crossbow this uh, wooden crossbow is actually very similar to the normal bow. It has uh, the same um, durability and basically it's just like the, the normal uh, bow. You just don't have to pull it back to shoot with it. With it. it pulls itself back after a while. Okay. Uh, I want to upgrade this. So I'm build, I'm making a small mechanism and using that mechanism with a crossbow and a piece of leather gives me a repeater. Now this repeater actually allows you to fire with a crossbow just like you did with a normal bow in 1.73 Minecraft. Now these crossbows do not work with normal um uh, arrows okay you need special uh, arrows which are called uh, bolts and I'm going to use the glass bolt because this one is the most powerful it basically it's a one hit kill on everything okay it's a uh, four and a half times a critical hit if I'm not mistaken so yeah that's some um, powerful shit right there now, uh, in order to get to the glowstone in the nether, I'm gonna also be requiring some um, special kind of blocks that industrial craft provides for us. These are called scaffolds, okay, and I'm going to get 64, just because I don't need any more of those. So, this uh, scaffolding is actually a very cool block. Let me just demonstrate. Okay. So, you can stack them uh, just like you would. Okay. Uh, a special property of this block is that you can climb it like ladders. Okay. So, any side is basically a ladder. And another special property of this uh, block is that you can left click on the bottom let me just see and there it goes so you don't actually have to sit on it to you know like jump you just click the bottom 
and it gets as high as possible and when you uh, want to uh, break that entire tower you don't need to break bro block by block you just do this yeah so that's why this is going to be very very helpful in the nether oh those are a lot of leg eggs let's see if we can get in there without any chickens getting out I don't think we're going to be able to do that but hey <laughs> Uh, I'm going to create a nice system with red power in the future. Oh, I don't. This is uh, so nice about the um, the sandstone pres pressure plates. They only detect you. That's very nice. Okay, one chicken. One more. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. And now we have to get out of here. Come on, go away, go away. Go the bloody hell away. Thank you. There we have it. I just love the fact that in 1.1 you can uh, actually uh, power these uh, gates with the rest on current. Okay, so are we set to do this? Uh, we have the flint and steel in case we get trapped in there. We have the crossbow repeater. I don't think we really need the torches, so let me just put those in here just for now, at least the bulk of them. Uh, what do we need next? Yeah, I think that's about it. So let's get into the nether, shall we? Um, no. The thing with the nether is that I don't want to bore you with uh, all the ex initial exploding and stuff. I'm just going to bring you with me once I discover something neat. Whoa. Man, that's a lot of soul sand. Yep, I spawned in a sea of soul sand. Oh, and this is actually quite good for us, since there is glowstone just near the spawn's point. This, oh, this soul sand is going to annoy me as hell. Can I get that glowstone with... Yeah, I think I can. Okay, let's get up there. Is it blocking me? Oh, it's blocking me. Darn it. Oh, this way is clear. <laughs> Stupid me. Alright. Um, let me just show you one more property of this scaffolding. Now, you can build like this. Around the central point. But you can't put any more. You see, I'm clicking now and nothing happens. Oh, come on. Actually, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. A small bleach live. Okay. Let's get some of this close down. Now, there is no problem with some of it uh, falls into the ground. On the ground, because I'll pick it up later. about this for this one now whoa, whoa, whoa. I hear something coming my way and I fell <laughs> now if I remember correctly this scaffolding should break even though I put those uh, blocks around the central point so let's see if what yeah I was right Okay, let's get that back. One more, thank you, ma'am. And I'll get some. Oh, where is it? This is annoying. I 
can't see it. Where the hell are you? Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, and this uh, glowstone is actually at uh, at reachable levels. So let me get some uh, nether rack and just block that lava over there because I don't want it burning my um, glowstone when it falls. Now, before I interrupt the stream, I want to be sure it has nowhere else to go, so let's block these adjacent parts, and there we go. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this doesn't actually like in the overworld this doesn't stop as quickly as it does there even though uh, it uh, even in the overworld it stops very slowly the overflow so maybe I should help I should help it along a little bit so I'll be right back uh, so I cleared a little bit of this lava and I also went and collected uh, some netherrack and some soul sand because I have some plans for that later in the series. Okay. Let me collect all this glowstone and go a little bit of exploring. Let's and see if uh, I can find something more interesting near the spawn. If not, I'll see you back in the overworld. And here I thought I wasn't uh, going to be able to show you guys uh, my crossbow repeater <laughs> and what it can do. So let's see what we can do with this ghost, if we can find it again. And there you have it. One <laughs> kill ghost <laughs> with one shot. That's how good the the, uh, the repeater is with, of course, with the glass bolts. Turn it. There you go. And one for you, my friend. There you have it. I hear another ghost. Never mind. Spawned in the overworld as usual, and I don't have any idea how to get to my death point. See you there. Whoa, this is actually nice. I forgot about this uh, <laughs> feature in uh, Race Minimap, it actually shows me the point of death. Hello, rat. Unfortunately, I have to get. They're really fast and I have no idea how to do that. Go away, just leave me alone. Now, how the hell do I get up there in less than 5 minutes? Dudes, what can I say? I'm very lucky to have a photographic memory. Because I instantly remembered <laughs> how I got here. <laughs> and I think I have some rats on my tail. Yeah. And this was so much glowstone, you have no idea. It's almost seven stacks of glowstone. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Minimap. Thank you so much. <laughs> Finally in the overworld. I wanted to say it's nice to see the sky. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's not the case, my friend. It's not the case. Okay guys, so I think I have all the materials I need for now. Um, first of all, we're going to need to make uh, an energy collector from equivalent exchange and in order to do that we need to make... 
actually let's make two energy collectors around and we have two energy collectors. I was going to make uh, also an um, antimatter relay but um, I realized that that shouldn't be made right now. I mean I'm gonna make it eventually but uh, for starters it's not, uh, uh, it's not really a good idea. Now we're going to need the Philosopher's Stone, of course, and I also want to make a transmutation table, and let's see if I remember the recipe, I think this should be it, yep, a transmutation tablet, and of course that uh, Philosopher's Stone is not consumed during the process. Uh, let's see where should we put these yeah maybe it's right there just for now and of course put some lanterns over them so they have enough uh, light I would uh, I could have used glowstone of course but uh, the jack-o-lanterns have the same light level as glowstone which is uh, 15 uh, and a torch only has a light level of 14 so yeah okay so I want to let these guys build up some energy and transform that energy into something more useful for the time being oh yeah and I also want to put this uh, tablet somewhere and transmutation tablet I have to remember that name I'm very new to equivalent exchange uh, initially equivalent exchange was uh, incredibly overpowered but now with the new installment version 2 um, it's actually more um, it was nerfed a lot where the hell do I want to put this guy I have no idea <laughs> Maybe in the ceiling somewhere. Can I put it over here? Oh, no, I know I'm gonna make a trick and put it over there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and there you have it. Nice. Now, of course, this guy has to be taught uh, every single block in the game because uh, it doesn't. Um, it's part of the dwarfing that I was talking about. In this installment of equipment exchange, you have to teach the transmutation tape tablet uh, nether words. Yeah, in the previ pre previous installment, uh, that nether word would have been right there from the beginning. So you didn't ha even have to find the nether word. So yeah. That's uh, that's some nerfing for you. <laughs> um, I think this episode uh, is quite long already, so um, I thank you all for watching. See you in the next episode, and as usual, don't forget to be awesome, guys. Ciao.